What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and I'm just here to address a couple things with you guys. Um, so one, I got a couple comments on the video talking about the Vetter pocket holster being the best pocket holster. And they're all like, oh, why did you switch up? Why did you change? Well, if you watch previous videos, I talk about what happened. Also, I've been in conversations with people in the DMs on Instagram talking about what happened to the Borai pocket holster. Also, the people I work with, I told them what's been happening with my Borai pocket holster. I'll be like, I was like, look, look at this holster right here. What happens is, if you guys, you guys must not pocket carry as much as I do, these people putting these comments, you must not understand what I do for a living. I do new construction plumbing. There's dirt, just grit, sawdust, rock, soil, everything gets in your pocket. And when it sits in that Borai pocket holster, it rubs up against your firearm and that holster. You know what happens when it rubs? Plastic shavings start coming off. Um, the polymer firearm frame starts wearing down. The two no longer bind the way they used to. There used to be retention. Now there's no longer retention. So as I'm working throughout the day, I'll feel that pocket holster come off the firearm at some point. That is super dangerous. If you see how thin that thing is, that holster can move into that trigger guard easily. Now, I'm pretty sure that it says somewhere, not for long-term use or something like that. Because somebody told me that in the past. I didn't believe them. Did it work for like a year? Yes, it worked flawlessly for a year. I have it for my Glock 26. I have one for my Glock 39, my XDS. Uh, my FN503 and my Glock 43. I used them for a long time. I love them. I thought they were great. But now knowing what I know, that's sketchy. So if you guys want to get mad at me for switching up on a product, that's crazy. Um, you want transparency from me, but you don't want me to be honest when a product fails. That's crazy. Um, you want me to continue using that product just because I claimed it was great in the past, but now that it's failing me and potentially could harm me, you want me to keep using it and gloating it up as being the greatest? I thought you wanted transparency. It's a complete opposite. I think this day going forward, I'm done responding to comments, guys. I think I'm done. Um, I appreciated all the comments you guys put. I appreciate all the conversations we've had, the debates, um, people asking for parts lists. I think I'm done looking at the comments. You know, it's really ruined it for me on YouTube. So anyways, just wanted to make that, uh, you know, this video talking about it to try and explain this so people understand what's really going on. These are people on the internet, guys. These are people sitting behind their computers. They just want to nitpick and find something wrong with videos. Guys, I pocket carried 60 hours a week for a year with that holster, guys. 60 hours, that's like, what, almost 3,000 hours or so? Sorry if my math's off. What, 2,400 hours, 2,500 hours? That's a lot of time with a pocket holster. That's a lot, of a lot of rubbing and grit and gunk. You see how dirty my FN503 gets. That holster's just worn down. That's all it is. It's a great holster still. It's just worn down to the point where I can't trust it anymore. And there's been like 10 times in the last couple weeks, I'm like, look, look at my pocket. And you'll see that holster is bent and off the firearm. I don't know what you guys want from me. If that's not tra transparent, I don't know what it is. Thanks for watching.